The day has finally come. I finally got my hands on one of these Benchmade Narrows. And I gotta say, I am super impressed. Now, is this folding knife actually worth 500 plus dollars? Well, we're gonna get into it. The access lock on this one is in a perfect position. You can easily deploy the knife from the access lock. The thumb studs allow a very easy reverse flick deployment. Also a thumb stud deployment, which isn't perfect. You kind of got to figure it out, but see, look, I still got to mess with the thumb stud action. You can use the thumb, your thumbnail and it's a bit more easy. There we go. The ergonomics are pretty great. Now, basically, they called this knife the Benchmade Narrows for a reason. Um, if you take a look, this is an extremely thin knife. The blade is very thin, very slicey behind the edge, and these scales are also very thin. Each individual scale is like a sixteenth of an inch thick or less even, and I gotta say, this is probably the lightest folding knife I've ever held with titanium scales, which is pretty cool. And I think that alone is kind of why this knife is so expensive. It's just a super lightweight knife with premium quality, premium materials. And generally speaking, if you want a knife with this weight, you got to go for something that's carbon fiber. And there's nothing wrong with carbon fiber at all. I like carbon fiber. It just, to me, it doesn't feel as premium as titanium. But this feels so lightweight like it feels like these could be carbon fiber and i wouldn't be i wouldn't question the weight i'd be like all right um obviously this little milling here and here there's probably some milling on the inside as well that takes out some extra weight i'm definitely a fan of the blue accents here on the pivot on the hardware and on the clip typical benchmade pocket clip deep carry which is also reversible. Like I said, blade is a drop point M390 steel with stonewashed finish. All right, so this is definitely one of the most premium quality folding knives that Benchmade has ever made. They have come out with a few other very premium quality knives. Most of their knives are definitely up there in quality. But I would say a little bit of a step down from this one in price and in just materials mostly. You know, I did talk about the ergonomics, but I think I can see a few more things. I did say it was a pretty thin overall, which is very true. It is a thin, lightweight knife. and But it is very ergonomic despite the extremely thin handle. Like, I really do like it, honestly. It almost feels like you could like bend the scales, but nah, they're titanium. They're definitely not going anywhere. The quality of the axis lock here is one of the best I've ever seen from Benchmade. Um, there's like some jimping on the little switch, which is like perfect. And it's like on a little angle, as you can see. But yeah, the ergonomics are very nice. We've got the jimping on the blade here for some... So you can choke up for some more precise cutting. we got this little bit of a finger slash sharpening choil. Uh, you can hold this knife in several different grip positions. And after just handling this knife while making this video and whatnot, like... I truly think this knife is worth the price, like $520 is what these are going for on Blade HQ, and while that's a lot of freaking money for a knife, I don't think, I don't think it's too overpriced, I don't think they could sell it for any more than that, they should sell it for less probably, but that's probably the highest range that they could sell this knife at. It is a great knife. It feels, it really feels like good quality. And I'm wondering what the, uh, the all blacked out version is like compared to this one. I have not held that one in person. 
and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly knife review content and peace